What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am the real Jossie of the Distorted Theorists and today we finally got the trailer for Joker Folia 2 or Joker 2. Um, Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga is coming at us as the iconic duo of Joker and Harley Quinn. But before I get into any of that, as always, if you want to support the channel and we, Peter, couldn't be here, do appreciate it. If you would hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, definitely going to want some comments down in the chat. Let us know how you have been anticipating this trailer, this movie. It's going to be huge. I think it's coming out in sometime in October. Don't quote me on that. Um, it's been five years since Joker, Joaquin Phoenix uh, portrayed the role, titular role of Arthur Fleck. Um, it was, it was a crazy take on it because it was very psycho. It was different. It, you know, you, you, we know the Joker from the Batman world. Okay. Spade is spade. Greatest. Some would argue some of the greatest villain of all time. Um, just that psychological, that play with your mind game shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this wasn't really about the Joker as we know him. This was how, more of how the Joker came to be. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say that I know all the Batman comics because Peter's the comic guy. Um, but I'm sure that th it pulled threads from some of the greatest stories of the Joker in the Batman DC universe. Um, Joaquin Phoenix played the character amazing from what I know of the Joker. Just seeing him come from this, this unstable, which is a, is a great word for the Joker, unstable character to see why he ended up like he did in this world. Um, and at the end, you know, he, well, obviously he, he's unhinged. He went off the deep end at the end. Uh, Robert De Niro's character just got shot point blank. Um, it was pretty gruesome and it was dope to see it all unfold because you almost felt bad for the Joker. Um, just like Thanos, you know, we all sympathize with him, but then at the end, he's a villain. So it's really cool to see that play out on screen. Todd Phillips did a great thing with um, making this movie. And obviously... We're, we're hoping that his visionary carries over into Folie Adieu. Um, one thing I really want to touch on, okay? I'm super excited. I'm gonna, Joaquin Phoenix had the Joker. I'm not going to lie. I want to focus on Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn a little bit, okay? Harleen Quinzel, ladies and gentlemen. It's always fun to get a rendition of her on camera. Um, if you guys have seen um, American Horror Story, Hotel, Lady Gaga was in that. Loved how she played that. Now, it's been a while since I watched that season. But I just remember that her character was just like, okay, Lady Gaga's going to act now? What are we? But like it was in that horror -y genre, and I feel like she's just going to fit right in as a Harleen Quinzel, Harley Quinn, into this very obscure version of the Joker and the DC Universe, or Harley Quinn's DC Universe's version. Um, how are they going to... How are they going to tell that love story? You know, that 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 weird, mentally unstable love story. Um, and the really cool thing is, I, I don't know if Todd Phillips did this because this is how he visioned it. Or he's trying to, you know, the first film got a lot of praise, a lot of um, nominations and stuff for awards because of the take on it. This is supposed to be somewhat of a musical. Um, I read somewhere today that it was going to be like 15 musical renditions in the film, uh, akin to Moulin Rouge, etc., etc., that we've seen in the past. Um, so it's going to be cool to see that unfold. It's just another twist and another turn in the Joker story. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I, I want to see this trailer right now. Let's get into the trailer reaction and discussion for Joker 2, Folie à deux, right now. Let's get it. Okay. Is he still in Arkham though is the question because remember at the end it was almost like he was dreaming the whole thing. Looks to be. Ooh, wait. Is she part of the song? No, we she use music, music to make us whole. To balance the fractures. This looks in crisp. Ourselves. It looks good. I'm nobody. I <laughs> can't wait to see her as Harley fucking Quinn. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. <laughs> They're really leaning on that musical part that I talked about. I'm not, is she a doctor in this one or is she an inmate? What the world needs now? 
<laughs> oh, that's cool. Whoa! That was the multiple jokers. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! Tell us, what's changed, Arthur? Well, I'll tell you what's changed. I'm not alone anymore. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's He's what we should be song. talking about. <laughs> She's just as fucked as he is. <laughs> she did the smear. That was dope. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> oh man, how did he even do that? Fully, I do. It is October. Okay. Okay. Oh man, that looks good. Okay. Okay. Um, so obviously the tones, the imagery, the cinematography is almost identical in my opinion, uh, to the original Joker. Um, this is definitely going to be a an estranged love story. It, it seems like it, they're making it fantastical, yet chaotic, yet um, dangerous, yet psychotic, and just all these emotions wrapped into one. But we're seeing what happens when Joker falls in love. You know, uh, in the first one, we know that there was a lot of people who did him wrong. His mom... Uh, Thomas Wayne or whatever that whole scenario where it's like he's your estranged dad and then uh, Sophie if I remember correctly please don't come for me in the comments um, he thought he was in love but apparently he was imagining the whole thing and you know a lot of the first one was imagination I think that was the whole surprise ending um, was that it was maybe a lot in his head so now I'm wondering if we're gonna see all this Joker stuff Part of me thinks, I mean, you don't bring Lady Gaga in for nothing. You don't introduce Harley Quinn for nothing. What if everything that we see in this movie is from her imaginative, imaginative standpoint um, and she's the one trapped in Arkham Asylum wanting someone to come in that accepts her for her psychotic, crazy bitchiness and she thinks the Joker, maybe she sees him on television and running from the cops and getting done wrong because we know the protesters were out. And now she has, maybe she's sexualized or fantasized about a clown or what have you. And I don't know. I don't know. I think there's a lot of unknowns now. Like I said, they're going that musical route, which if it's played, I, I don't want to watch a lot of musical movies, but if it's done tastefully and combined in such a way that you're flipped from realism to fantasism i think it could be really cool and i don't know and i mean joaquin phoenix got the uh was it walk the line i think he was in please again don't come for me in the comments i'm trying to go by memory here uh but he played johnny cash again if i'm not mistaken so he does have that i'll call it acting background to carry such a role that does involve the mu music scenes mixed with uh dialogue and scenery and 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 then just the color splashes that were in that, everything's so dark and dreary, but then you just had these pops of reds and oranges and blues, and it, they never come out and give you the ha-ha-ha Joker. It's more like, why is he laughing, Joker? And I think that's what makes this version so cool, because somewhat relatable. Once again, I said it in the beginning, it makes you feel something some emotion for the bad guy and any movie that can get you to do that is a win in my books ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining me for my reaction and discussion of joker the first trailer for folio adu featuring joaquin phoenix and lady gaga as harleen quinzel i cannot wait to see her rendition I, we heard her speak a little bit but barely i want to see more i i, I seen that diamond shape they're they're leaning on the car they're giving us what we want to see a bit of fan service which is always nice to see but but anyway uh, if you enjoy the content on the channel and we always appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button hit that like button let me know down in the comments below what are you taking away from this trailer what did i miss point out something give me something from the comics that i would know about let me know how this translates and relates to comic to on screen because i love to learn about stuff like that all the time and um there's so much to this character. I can't wait to see him in theaters in IMAX in October. 
It's not that far away. And with that, I am the real Jossie of the Distorted Theorists. And like we always say around here, keep it real.